like this one time they asked this but it definitely it is not like it is unconventional type of question because as i told you two three questions are there which we need to be prepared for so this this was one of them okay so just read this question i'm giving you the options options yeah, let's say zero let's say minus one let's say one let's say three Try this question. I'm giving it two and a half minutes. Just try to think of it. I don't have any points on any of the lines, right? And nothing related to the slope of any of the lines. Right? Yeah. I'll give you one hint. This question has nothing to do with the straight line. I mean, like any concept, no concept will be utilized here related to straight lines, slope, equation, anything. Because oh, we have nothing, okay. we, have, we have no information about that. D is in y axis, positive y axis, and multiplied by two. So, minus one. Minus one is absolutely correct. Tell me how you have got it. Oh, because value of a plus b is minus three b plus b, so that's minus two b. And then you can tell that B is on the positive y-axis, so positive into negative is negative. Minus exactly. Is negative. That's what is required in this question. Now you can think. Now I I'm not making that image of this exam that how they are asking the question. No, but from <laughs> this question, now you can think that, okay, sir, that's what was required in this question. Okay, because we are not preparing for any subjective exam that we can write anything. We will have yeah. four short, like cho four choices. We need to like, okay, get the answer correct. That is our final aim. But if we require some basic understanding, like this much depth in the sense like of understanding the concept is not required in all the topics of a syllabus. But right. if you know that straight line is the pillar one, the unit one, it will dominate 30% of the paper will be from this. We have to cover each and everything. This question, I think they asked in 2016, one of the shifts and way back in 2008 or something. Okay, so maybe it can repeat. But like you now have the idea that if I'm not able to create any information related to slope, related to equation, related to point of intersection, I need to think something of else. And the moment I told you that, you got that idea that okay, sir, A and B positive, negative thing. So here A is minus 3B, sir. So if they ask you, so two things to understand from here. Again, did we get the value of A plus B? No. Okay, final value. Okay, neither we were able to create the idea that how we will get A or B. Second thing, sorry, third thing, that here, if they're asking A plus B, they've given A minus 3B. So at least let us try to create A plus B. Then we'll think that, okay, what idea we need to think of later on. So if it is A equal to minus 3B, A plus B will be, as you told, minus 3B plus B minus 2B. Now what we can do, so if we look at the options, okay, or it's like, see, this, they say uh, very confidently, odd option, okay, try to think much. No, it, it does not work every time. But still, like, okay, we need to think about when we're not able to think much that, okay, there is one odd option. So maybe we should get some idea of it. Maybe it, it can be incorrect also. So A plus B minus 2B. So A, B, second quadrant, that's how you got the idea that B is positive, Y coordinate is positive. So this is negative. The moment you see negative, the option B is correct. We don't know even if that is the answer or not. That is our choice. Okay. Good.